last dish we're gonna make is uh, what I like to call whipped chocolate. It is essentially pure chocolate. We're gonna make really nice, almost like chocolate mousse-like texture without adding any sugar, any eggs, any dairy. Uh, we're just gonna do chocolate and coffee. So we're gonna have a nice coffee chocolate or, or mocha, if you will, flavored whipped chocolate. So I'm gonna start with a really nice 70% uh, cocoa dark chocolate. It's about four ounces of chocolate here, a quarter of a pound. And I'm gonna to add to that a half a cup of coffee. Doesn't have to be exact. All right, so I'm gonna heat this up on the stove on a low flame until the chocolate completely melts. So I don't want any pieces of chocolate in this, no chunks floating around, I want all, all liquid. So what I have now is just melted chocolate and coffee. Um, really not much going on here, not something that looks too appetizing. So I've got a mixing bowl set in uh, some ice and water. So we've got a nice, really cold surface right here. We wanna cool this hot coffee and chocolate down and uh, turn it back into something that's appetizing and delicious looking. So now that it's in the bowl, we don't wanna just let it sit there. Um, we have to keep it moving. So a whisk is a really good tool to keep this moving. And uh, this is where the hard work comes in because we just have to keep whipping this until it cools off. It's gonna slow down gradually. And all the while, we're whipping air into the chocolate. So we're gonna give it a little texture, we're gonna give it a little body, and we're gonna cool it down all at the same time. I would normally do this with, uh, if it was in a much larger quantity, with an immersion blender and just uh, blend it. And it still takes about like 10 minutes. <laughs> so if you wanna take a look in the bowl, what was just sort of loose and liquidy is now a little lighter in color, looks a little airier, and it's starting to, uh, to take on like a nice creamy texture. And now that it's come together, and uh, it's got some nice texture, some nice body to it. We'll just let it sit for a second. And there we go, chocolate whipped cream with no actual cream in it. Pretty good on its own. Tastes really good with ice cream. You can freeze it so it's like a nice frozen treat. Um, you can chill it in the refrigerator. It's, uh, it's almost exactly like chocolate mousse. Thanks for watching and uh, now you have four new ways to work coffee and or chocolate into your everyday routine.